let me please say this to my friend, to my mate, my comrade, our brother in arms, who will always be the chairman. Um, how much we at one just wish you well and, and just can't thank you enough for all we've done together for Africa, for America, you know, for leadership. Ed Royce did a spectacular job of defending America's interests abroad and articulating them at home so we could build popular support for the kind of national security that we need to keep America as the lone superpower in the world, but also as a leader for freedom and democracy and liberty. The impact that Ed Royce has made, uh, both here in the country, overseas, and his district, those things will live on forever. Ed has made a difference to millions of people throughout Africa. He's made a difference to his constituents. He's made a difference to every American who cares about our national security and our role in the world. He's changed, changed people's lives. I mean, he, he got 400 children out of uh, the DRC, the Democratic Republic of the Congo, when they'd been adopted by American families. That meant everything to them. Those were their kids. Millions of people throughout the world have benefited from the work of Ed Royce, whether it be promoting economic development, the end of war, or uh, better health throughout the world. That's been Ed's mission. The thing about Ed is, it doesn't matter if he's meeting with a world leader or if he's meeting with the staff assistant. Ed loves being able to do something that makes a difference. Ed is one of the most genuine, considerate people I've ever met. I don't know anybody who works harder than Ed Royce. He's, he's kind of a, uh, a one-person community organizing project. I mean, he's just always on the go. I think uh, the work that Ed's done lives on long after he leaves here because the, the, the work in the Foreign Affairs Committee changes lives, it changes countries, it, it brings about people having uh, more rights, more freedoms. These are life and death issues around the world. He's smart, he's capable, um, he's very thoughtful, uh, he's inclusive, he wants people to, to come together and work with him. Um, he, uh, he's really caring and committed. He, uh, he believes strongly in America and uh, is, is not afraid to speak out. I think Chairman Royce was always out front, uh, working with members of both sides of the aisle. I think Ed is everything a member of Congress should be. He's hardworking, he's intelligent, he's bipartisan, he's kind, he respects people, even if their views are, are different than his. We need to get back to that. We need to get back to listening to each other, respecting each other. To treat people with respect and dignity you know, he's a steady hand. I'll miss him, and I think a lot of us will. I think his colleagues will miss him. Character is not a one-time event. It's what you do when people aren't watching you. One of the uh, uh, people on Ed's staff in Sacramento when he was a state senator talked to me one day, and she said, you know, I always will um, work for Ed because of the things he does every day when people aren't watching. Ed has made a difference which will last beyond his years in Congress. He's also uh, uh, helped a lot of people from various uh, constituencies who really didn't have a voice. Ed has made the world a better place. Ed Royce, I just want to say it on behalf of not just myself, but on behalf of the United States Congress and the American people, thank you so much for your leadership. And we are all Deeply grateful to your service to our country. Thank you. Bless you, Chairman Rice. I just want to say thank you, Ed. It's a pleasure to be your colleague, but it's an even better pleasure to be a friend. Ed, your best is yet to come. Don't forget that because a lot of people are counting on you. Thank you, Ed, for 22 great years. Thank you, Ed, for believing in me and on behalf of all your staff for the last 23 years. Thank you for believing in us, for encouraging us, for caring about each one of us individually, and for really trying to make our lives um, special. Well, thank you, Ed. Thanks for being a good friend. Thanks for being an incredibly effective public servant. You've left this place far better than you found it, but we know that the work you've done will live on long after uh, you've left the Rayburn building. Thank you, Ed. I love you, I'm very proud of you, and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you.